So you've probably heard the term AI in the news or read about it somewhere online. Perhaps you've heard about Google Bard, Microsoft Bing, or ChatGPT. Maybe you've seen movies where the plot focuses on AI and how it'll take over the world or that it's replacing huge portions of the workforce and not just blue collar or manual jobs. But AI has been worked on since the 1950s. Movies about it were popular decades ago. So why is there so much new information and buzz about it? What is it? How does it work? How do you use it? All these questions and more are what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to the Ultimate Beginner's Guide on AI. What is artificial intelligence? I asked ChatGPT, a generative AI from OpenAI, this question. Its answer, artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think, learn, and make decisions. A good starting point, but I think we can do better. John McCarthy from Stanford University offers the following definition in his 2004 paper, What is Artificial Intelligence? It is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. It is related to the similar task of using computers to understand human intelligence, but AI does not have to confine itself to methods that are biologically observable. Things like Amazon Alexa or Apple Siri, even Tesla's self-driving cars are example of AI in everyday life. So to combine both definitions, AI is the engineering of algorithms and systems that can perform tasks that would normally require human intelligence. This includes problem solving, learning, perception, and natural language understanding. Now that we have a definition and real life examples, we can build upon them to paint a full picture of what AI really is. In 1950, Alan Turing, one of the founders of AI, put forth the question, can machines think, in his research paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. In his paper, he argues that if a machine can have a conversation with a human, and the human can't distinguish whether they are conversing with another human or with a machine, the machine has demonstrated human intelligence. This is also known as the Turing test. In 1956, Alan Newell, Herbert Simon and J.C. Shaw developed Logic Theorist, the first artificial intelligent computer program. In 1965, Joseph Weizenbaum developed Eliza, the first chatbot. And in the 1960s and 70s, AI enters mainstream. 2001, A Space Odyssey premiered in theaters in 1968. And most of us are familiar with C-3PO and R2-D2 from Star Wars, which debuted in 1977. Fast forward a few decades, and in 1977, Deep Blue beat world chess champion Garry Kasparov. In 2011, IBM's Watson defeated Ken Jennings on Jeopardy, and Apple added Siri to its iPhones. And on November 30th, 2022, ChatGPT gets released to the public. AI can be broken down into two main categories or distinctions. The first one is weak or narrow AI. Weak AI is AI trained and focused to perform specific tasks. Weak AI drives most of the AI that surrounds us today. Despite its name, weak AI is anything but weak. It enables some very robust applications, such as Apple Siri, Amazon's Alexa, IBM Watson, and autonomous vehicles. And the other type of AI is strong AI. Strong AI is made up of artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence. Artificial general intelligence, or general AI, is a theoretical form of AI where a machine would have intelligence equal to humans. It would have a self-aware consciousness that has the ability to solve problems, learn, and plan for the future. Artificial superintelligence, also known as superintelligence, would surpass the intelligence and ability of a human brain. While strong AI is entirely theoretical, with no practical examples in use today, that doesn't mean AI researchers aren't also exploring its development. In the meantime, the best example of artificial superintelligence might be from science fiction, such as HAL, the superhuman rogue computer assistant in 2001, A Space Odyssey. These distinctions help give us a better understanding of where we are and where we are headed, both of which are important. We need to understand what AI is if we're going to steer it in a direction that benefits all of humankind. As mentioned earlier, AI is not sentient. It does not have a conscience, nor is it anywhere near human intelligence. Yet. While the future does look bright, we are far from superintelligence. 
AI is also not going to take over the world like you see in the movies. We don't have to worry about Arnold showing up from the future, or super intelligent AI like an iRobot with Will Smith. And we're definitely not heading towards the Matrix. Algorithms are at the core of artificial intelligence. They are a set of instructions that computers follow to solve a problem. Algorithms are used in a wide variety of applications, including AI, and they are essential for enabling AI systems to learn and perform tasks. One way to think about algorithms is a recipe. A recipe is a set of instructions that you follow to create a dish. For example, a recipe for chocolate chip cookies might have the following steps. Preheat the oven. Mix in the ingredients. Add the chocolate chips. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes or until golden brown. Similarly, an algorithm is a set of instructions that a computer follows to solve a problem. For example, an algorithm for sorting a list of numbers might have the following steps. Compare the first two numbers in a list. If the first number is greater than the second number, swap them. Repeat steps one and two until the list is sorted. Algorithms can be used to solve a wide variety of problems, from simple tasks like sorting a list of numbers to complex tasks like recognizing objects and images or translating languages. Data is the fuel that powers AI systems. AI systems are trained on data sets of examples. For example, to train an AI system to recognize objects and images, the system would be trained on a data set of images labeled with the objects they contain. Once the system is trained, it can use the algorithm it was trained on to make predictions about new data. For example, if the system is trained on a data set of images of cats and dogs, it can use the algorithm to predict whether a new image contains a cat or a dog. The quality and quantity of data that an AI system is trained on has a significant impact on its performance. If the data is biased or inaccurate, then the AI system will also be biased or inaccurate. For example, if an AI system is trained on a data set of images of cats and dogs that is mostly made up of images of white cats and black dogs, then the system will be more likely to identify white cats and black dogs than other types of cats and dogs. This is why it's important to carefully curate the data that AI systems are trained on. Data scientists need to make sure that the data is representative of the real world and that it is free of bias. AI works by using those algorithms to learn from data and make predictions. There are three main types of AI algorithms, machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing. Machine learning algorithms are trained on specific data sets. A machine learning algorithm that recommends movies to Netflix users might be trained on data set of user ratings and viewing history. Once the algorithm is trained, it can use the information it has learned to recommend new movies to users. Deep learning algorithms are a special type of machine learning algorithm that uses artificial neural networks to learn from data. Artificial neural networks are inspired by the structure of the human brain. They are made up of interconnected nodes that process information and learn from experience. Deep learning algorithms are used in a wide variety of applications, including image recognition, natural language processing, and speech recognition. For example, deep learning algorithms are used to power the facial recognition features on smartphones and to train the chatbots that are used in customer service applications. The example of training a system to recognize cats and dogs from earlier is a perfect example of a deep learning algorithm in action. Natural language processing algorithms, or NLP for short, are used to process and understand human language. NLP algorithms are used in a wide variety of AI applications, such as machine translation, chatbots, and text summarization. Siri or Google Assistant are examples of NLPs. These voice-enabled helpers use NLP to understand your spoken commands and reply coherently. It's how you can ask, hey Siri, what's the weather like today? And get a straight answer. Google Translate is another example. And lastly, ever wonder how YouTube seems to know exactly what you're interested in? Part of that magic is NLP algorithms scanning through video titles, descriptions, and even comments to tailor suggestions specifically to you. So if you like this video so far, hit the like button and subscribe. As the saying goes, it helps the YouTube algorithm. Generative AI is a subset of artificial intelligence that focuses on creating new data from existing data. 
Unlike traditional algorithms that are designed to make predictions or decisions based on input, generative AI aims to produce content that is new and original. An example that many people are familiar with is deepfake technology. Deepfakes use generative AI algorithms to create realistic videos by swapping faces or manipulating existing footage. Another example is in the realm of art, where AI can generate paintings or music compositions. Generative AI is also the engine behind many chatbots, like ChatGPT from OpenAI, which can generate human-like text based on the input it receives. It's not simply responding to queries, but can create entirely new paragraphs, stories, or even computer code based on the patterns it has learned during its training phase. So why is generative AI important? This technology opens up new avenues for creativity and automation, but it also raises ethical concerns such as misinformation and data privacy. The key is understanding its capabilities and limitations as we integrate it into various aspects of our lives. As you can see, the applications of AI are far-reaching and revolutionary, but it's not all rainbows and unicorns. As much as AI has the power to make our lives better, it also has a darker side that can't be ignored. Imagine developing a cutting-edge automated recruitment system designed to sift through resumes to pick the most suitable candidate for various roles. Sounds like a game changer, right? Well, Amazon tried to do just that. The system learned to judge resumes based on those of past applicants. But here's the catch. It inadvertently started penalizing women. Why? Because women have historically been underrepresented in tech roles, and the AI algorithm made the assumption that male candidates were intentionally favored. So it began downgrading resumes that appeared to be from female candidates. Despite attempts to recalibrate the system, Amazon ultimately had to abandon the initiative back in 2017. Another shortcoming of AI is energy consumption and its carbon footprint. In a research paper from 2019, the University of Massachusetts found that training a single AI model can emit as much carbon into the atmosphere as five cars over their lifetime. The future of AI is unpredictable, but let's take a look at some of the possibilities. Diagnostic tools with superhuman capabilities could revolutionize healthcare by spotting complex conditions like cancer at the earliest stages. With AI-enhanced telemedicine, healthcare will become more accessible, even in the most remote corners of the world. Automation isn't solely about job elimination, it's also about job creation, new roles we can't even fathom yet. As routine tasks get automated, people will be freed for more creative and impactful endeavors, requiring us to adapt our educational system to match these new opportunities. Imagine a world where traffic jams and car accidents are a thing of the past all thanks to self-driving vehicles. This isn't just a transportation upgrade, it's a complete revolution that could also reshape city planning and logistics. The power of AI to combat climate change can't be underestimated. Intelligent algorithms have the potential to optimize energy consumption in real time and can help us model and predict environmental changes with unprecedented accuracy. It's not just advanced prosthetics. AI could integrate with human biology in ways that significantly enhance our natural abilities. We're talking about the potential to evolve human capabilities like upgrading from a bicycle to a rocket ship. While the power of AI to connect us is enormous, it also has a shadow side, divisiveness. Algorithms shaping public opinion through targeted feeds and deepfake technologies raise unsettling questions about the potential influence on democratic processes and social movements. As AI technologies evolve faster than our legal systems, the absence of a comprehensive governance framework becomes a glaring issue. Questions about regulating data privacy and ethical considerations loom large, requiring international cooperation for effective solutions. So there you have it, the ultimate beginner's guide to AI. From its inception in the mid-20th century to its everyday applications today, AI is no longer confined to science fiction. It's real, and it's impacting our lives in ways big and small, making healthcare more accurate, personalizing our media consumption, and even tackling complex issues like language barriers. However, it's also important to remain cautious. As AI continues to evolve, so should our approach to understanding its ethical implications and its capacity for both good and harm. 
It's an exciting, transformative time, but also one that requires careful thought and responsible action. Thank you for tuning in, and if you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay curious.